pays to make his bail. 50,000 smackers in milk bottle deposit money, which probably would have gone for food. Don't they understand how he's trying to fool them? That elusive lure of easy living. Talk about fooling all the people all the time. Oh, the archer made this statement uh, just after he was bailed out. Thank thee, compatriots of Gotham City. Thank thee for thy faith. Let it be now known to one and all, I have forsworn my deeds of the past. Rich people of Gotham City, thee may quake no more in thy boots. Yea, and verily, I shall no longer rob thee. <laughs> to look up any variation of the word archer. All times a criminal will be listed under a known to crime similar to his own. Nope. All of those are legitimate people. What was it that Alan A. Dale said about Archer? The people think he may be another Robin. Ah, what was Robin Hood's real name? I read about that in English class. He was also known as the uh, outlawed Earl of Hunting. Mm, let's see what the bat file has to say about that. <laughs> look, there it is. Archery Range, owned by Earl Huntington. And Sherwood Avenue is in the Green Forest section of Gotham City. This might be what we're looking for, Robin. I hope so. We've got to expose him before he does even more damage. Right. But how? How what, Buster Robin? The archer has sworn never again to rob from the rich and give to the poor. But he had nothing to say about robbing the poor to make himself rich. I think that maybe he's over all plans, and I wouldn't be surprised if it ultimately involved the Wayne Foundation grant. Heaven forbid. Alfred, in your youth, you were familiar with the long, the short, and the cross 